For lab 26, we have a variation on the test of using nutrients. Here, instead, we will use actually rabbit citrated plasma. The actual plasma is present in most blood. And we want to test if the organism has the ability to coagulate that plasma. And so we take smaller tubes, pretty much containing media, which contains that citrated plasma, inoculate them, give them a couple of days, and what we want to test is their ability to, again, coagulate the actual plasma present. And so for certain organisms that don't possess this enzyme, the plasma will remain liquid. But for other organisms, when it's actually coagulated, clearly it's solid, and that is actually a danger for us. Organisms that possess coagulase can typically kind of create this little shell around themselves to kind of hide from the immune system, but at the same time also destroy your ability for your blood to flow. So in this case, organisms that possess coagulase are pathogenic. For laboratory 26, the production of coagulase, we'll test out rabbit citrated plasma, the plasma present in blood, so as you can tell it's liquid, and then organisms that possess this coagulase enzyme will usually cause the coagulation of the plasma, versus organisms that do not possess it will keep it nice and liquid.